Is there anything better than a hot pot? Oh, yes, a Korean hot pot, lots of spicy flavours, and we're going to make our own wontons. I'm loving this one. Korea's an amazing place and the food that they have there, spicy, meaty, lots of things. But hang on, there's no meat here. There's no meat. This is a vegetarian. The wontons are vegetarian, the hot pot's vegetarian, and it's still going to be very yummy. So if you could dice the onion and also just a little bit of cabbage, but we're going to make our own wontons. We're going to do this from scratch, my friend. Okay. This looks a bit like your recipe today, doesn't it? From scratch. I'm liking from this. From scratch. We're okay. making everything ourselves. So I'm going to start adding some garlic and ginger to our pan. Okay. You can just chuck everything in here. Okay, I'm That's the you. good news about the way I do it. You would probably have a bowl and do things in steps and dirty lots of things. Priya, she's streamlined. Well, I'm used to having a gaggle of people around me to clean up and wipe down af after me. A but gaggle. There you, you go. Chop this up for you as well. No, yes, please. Nice Just a little bit. Yeah, quite fine. We want some texture in our okay, in okay. our um, our dumpling or our wonton. Carrot, grated carrot goes in, adds a bit of sweetness to our dumpling. And that cabbage, that's perfect, friend. Okay. Beautiful. So is, I'll just do this little last little bit. Is that enough for that's, you? That's plenty. Plenty right there. You can cease. You can cease and desist cease and, and desist. you can pop it in. Okay. And then I'm going to need your expertise for some flavour, please. I need a yeah. little bit of sesame <laughs> oil for some flavour and then also a bit of soy sauce. Just a couple of drops? Yes, please. Yep, beautiful. Oh, and some soy sauce. So I'm not going to add salt, Richo. You know I like to get it from the soy sauce. Adds a bit of flavour, adds the saltiness. Well, the soy sauce is seasoning. That's what it, it is. is. And it just gives it you is, my friend. a lovely bit of colour and that's where the salt comes from. It's lovely. So this is our dumpling filling. We're going to let that cook down a little bit and just leave it alone and let her do her thing. And you and I are going to start whipping up a glorious broth. Now, I like to start with some kimchi. Ooh, Do you love yes. the stuff? Yes, uh, I have that in my fridge. It's fermented cabbage with chilli and spice and garlic. Yes. So fermented stuff is supporting your gut health and it's actually, we know now, really important for mood, weight management, really important. I find giving my gut really, uh, making it strong is what's better. Okay. Make it strong by giving it lots and lots of food, lots of uh, things that wouldn't normally eat so that it becomes stronger and stronger and okay. can resist all of the, the things that are out there, all the bugs and stuff. Oh, you sound like those patients who come in and say I've got an iron stomach and then they're in my room for gastro. They're, they're going to clone me. They're going to clone me <laughs> and reproduce, you know, thousands and thousands of them. Okay. Now, I'm just frying the kimchi off to get that beautiful flavour out. Yep. Yep. Now I'm going to add my vegetable stock. So I'm keeping this vegetarian just so that everyone can have it. So here's our veggie stock, which I'm going to add. Let's add a bit more flavour here. So this is the, the Korean Goku, chilli paste. The Gogu Jang. You can find it in a lot of supermarkets now. You can. It's really handy. It's great for uh, barbecue. If you want to make uh, something special with the barbecue, you can marinate meats with it, ah. um, use it in soup like you're using. It's a very, very versatile paste there you and go. easy to get hold of nowadays. Beautiful. Yeah. So I'm just going to give this a gentle mix, get those flavours combined. We're going to let that simmer for about eight minutes and you and I are going to start making some cute little wontons. Could you please, here you go, let's get you a wrapper. Two little wrappers <laughs> here. What's that? Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh, that that's not cool. That oh, okay. was that, yeah, I can tell you now we can't have you doing that again. That's why my kids are embarrassed. Yes, you know, I just is... lived their nightmare. I, I right do stuff like that. Here. I make sure I do that when I'm dropping them off. Hey, bros, I do that, you do know? You? Yeah, I try and intentionally yeah. embarrass my child too. Okay. So we're going to get a little bit, you don't want to overfill these because then you get the dumpling filling coming out everywhere. Just oozing all over the oozing place. Oozing everywhere. But can I tell you my little hot tip here? Okay. Because sometimes, very occasionally, I can also throw in a Tip. I make this kind of mixture and put it through noodles for the kids. It's a nice way to get veggies in yeah, and it's all grated. Re really simple. I mean, it's a simple. great flavour already and uh, the kids would love that. Just some hot noodles straight in there. So we're going to make some more dumplings here. This broth is nearly ready and we're going to add in some Australian sliced mushrooms, the gai lan, the lotus root, the tofu. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. I'm loving all the all the, oh, the chilli flavours and everything. All the goodness. Now, this doesn't cook for very long. I don't like my greens to get really wilted and kind of unhappy. So I like them with a bit of crunch in them. You okay. know that. And I've already got the tofu and lotus root in the bowl. I've got you. Now, I like how you've done the done the little wontons or the dumplings in the broth with it. Yes. Some people would cook it in a little pot on the side there. You can. Really, you don't need to. You, can... you don't need to. And do you know I like to do less cleaning, less mess. OK. So this is the way that I do it. Now, I'm going to start getting some of this. I'm Thank gonna hold you, this Chef. This you. is what I need. A beautiful little hot pot. I'm going to grab another little dumpling because I know that you go hard on these. Yes, I do. And these beautiful Australian mushrooms. 
mushrooms as well. You can use whatever you like. Nice. A little bit more here, Richo. Don't okay. take that bowl away. There we go. you got got it all snuggled Holy in. mama, I can feel the chilli in my eyes. Put a little bit of, just a tiny bit there, restrained pour just, so we just... can see all the beautifulness below. How good does this look? Have a go in there. All right, I'm going to go Hot straight Hot and the... spicy Korean. I'm going to go straight. Oh, it's gone the... straight. That's I'm going to go for the broth oh, first okay. and, and have a little taste of that because that's what's important. Yes. Oh. Delicious. Lots of flavour in there. Mushrooms all the way through it. Mm. I love the uh, the chilli flavour, but it's not too hot. And of course, I've got to try a little wonton or you dumpling, do. whatever you want to call whatever it. Whatever you want to call it, packed with goodness. It doesn't take very long. Oh. Vegetarian, you can put as much as you want in there. You can put meat if you like, but that is a nice little vegetarian hot and spicy hot pot. It's delicious. Well done. Thank you.